Trying to push for 50,000 subscribers in 2024? Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. As Airbus looks ahead to the next year, several key developments are expected to shape the company into what can only be described as an exciting year. From aircraft certifications to supply chain rebuilding, continuing its solid performance in terms of orders and sustainable aviation initiatives. One of the most anticipated moments though in 2024 for the European plane maker is the certification and entry into service of the A321 XLR. The A321 XLR, an extra long-range version of the popular A321neo, as the name suggests, is also a further enhancement on the A321LR. It has garnered significant attention for its ability to operate your long-haul routes efficiently and only as a single aisle. The variant is designed to offer airlines the added range, but still be a cost-effective and versatile solution solution for companies that may not be looking towards a wide body to complete maybe transatlantic offerings. The aircraft was initially unveiled to customers in 2019 and certainly touched down onto the scene with hundreds of orders at a major air show. The A321 XLR is set to bring several benefits to airlines. With a range of approximately 4,700 nautical miles, the aircraft allows operators to connect more city pairs without needing a traditional wide body as I touched on, and what this also does for some carriers is open up new route possibilities and enhances the flexibility of their network planning. But also it means for some airlines that the A321XLR is actually a more viable option if they want to dip their toes into completely new markets. The XLR would likely attract low-cost carriers and also point-to-point -point airlines, offering them new opportunities. It has even turned the heads of legacy companies too. However, the anticipated certification timeline for the XLR has seen it face delays. You may recall it was initially slated to enter service in 2023 following a certification approval, but concerns that directly related to the additional fuel tank, which is integral to making the range capabilities what they are, prompted Airbus to push the certification timeline to a later date as it looked to address these concerns and ensure that the new aircraft would meet safety and also performance standards before it would enter commercial service. In terms of the repercussions from this, well, you may recall that there were several concerns outlined on how Airbus would go about fixing this. Some said that further weight may have needed to be added to the aircraft type, and as a result, there were numerous visible concerns that the capabilities that once made the A321 XLR so attractive may be reduced. With that said, the XLR is progressing to a certification. The first unit that is slated for customers is being built at the moment and Airbus is targeting a 2024 certification. While yes, that is subject to change, the closer and closer the plane maker gets to the date, it'll remain hopeful that nothing pops up last minute. In addition to the Airbus A321 XLR certification, 2024 will be another pivotal year for the plane maker in continuing to rebuild and grow its supply chain. Like many other airlines, manufacturers, and general aviation companies, they were faced by disruptions during the global pandemic. Delays in production and delivery of aircraft components have impacted Airbus's day-to-day -day operations for many years now. And yes, 2023 on a whole was much better for the plane maker. But if anything, what it will want to do is build on the success it has enjoyed in the past year and take that forward with it into 2024, but only growing as well. Airbus will aim to restore smoothness to the supply chain, minimise disruptions, and ensure that the timely delivery of aircraft to customers can occur. This has been a big topic of conversation in, I'd argue, the last 18 months. The inability for some airlines to get their aircraft delivered on time. We're talking multi-month, sometimes yearly delays, and that backlog is only growing as more and more customers order aircraft. Most airlines are no longer in recovery mode, and are in a growth mindset. To be able to achieve this growth, what are they doing? Well, they're looking towards ordering the future of their fleets in terms of aircraft. And it just so happens that so many companies are in such large expansion modes that they're committing to hundreds upon hundreds. The rebuilding of the supply chain will be critical for Airbus to meet all this demand, especially as the industry rebounds. 
as I've touched on, customers are looking to grow, and that was really highlighted through the successful performance Airbus enjoyed throughout 2023, with orders through the roof. Achieving production and delivery targets is essential, not just for customer satisfaction, but maintaining Airbus's position in the market. And if you've kept a close eye on their announcements through the years, they do have some pretty ambitious growth targets for specific aircraft programs. They need to achieve these production and delivery targets to be able to work through the backlog adequately and not see further delays come into the scene. Furthermore, 2024 will be a year in which Airbus seeks to build upon its strong order performance, something I did touch on. The company will leverage the likes of major air shows and industry events to continue communicating with key customers, develop relationships, and demonstrate that there is a strong demand for its aircraft in the market. Another area of interest, in my opinion, could be the extension to the A220 program, with the introduction of the A220 2500. Overall, this is an aircraft family that, since Airbus acquired it, has proved a pretty successful venture for them, offering airlines an efficient and modern solution for small or medium-sized operations. Since taking over the program, Airbus has looked heavily to push it in North America, where it has definitely succeeded. But they are always attempting to enhance their grip, and the A220-500, if developed, could be the further expansion that the family requires, providing airlines with a larger variant, but not quite an A320neo, that offers increased capacity while maintaining the fuel efficiency of the aircraft alongside operational flexibility, which is a big thing to consider when factoring in the A220's performance. Several airlines, including Air Baltic, have already expressed interest in a variant, and the A220's success really lies in its ability to connect a wide variety of cities. What has been fantastic to see in recent years is how different customers will utilize the A220 for different reasons. The Air Current, which is a reputable source, has also indicated that an A220-500, as it has been dubbed, is of substantial interest in parallel with aircraft developments, but looking more so into the future, Airbus will be continuing to focus on innovation and sustainability throughout 2024. The industry is certainly headed to more environmentally friendly and fuel-efficient aircraft, and the rapid need for this will become apparent, so Airbus is actively exploring technologies and also initiatives to power the next era of its fleet, and a strong emphasis on reducing environmental impact has to be there. Sustainable aviation initiatives include the likes of development of hybrid and electric propulsion systems. We do see all these alternative fuel methods and more fuel efficient designs as a core focus. But these are certainly more long term. It doesn't mean, though, that they won't be worked on next year. 2024 will also see landmark first deliveries to aircraft customers, which will come with fantastic ceremonies, no doubt. Additionally, Airbus will continue working towards certifying its A3. 50 freighter, producing that first unit, and so forth. It'll be a pretty big year for the plane maker, and no doubt surprises will also be present like they always are. If you have any bold predictions for the 2024 calendar year at Airbus, you can let me know down below in the comments. But as always, given this is an aviation channel, I will be analysing major developments throughout the year right here on Globetrotting, and if you are after some of those more timely news pieces, well, recaps feature on the main channel, which is just DJ's Aviation. Thank you very much for your support here across the recent year. It certainly means a lot. Take care, be safe, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time.